Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in 2019, my second year of monetization on YouTube, my 10 minute workshop channel earned a little under £14,500. That's just shy of $19,000 from YouTube videos on all YouTube related activities. Uh, join me after the jingle, and I'll talk you through how that income breaks down. Welcome back. I've previously posted a version of this video on my Patreon channel. I want to take a minute to thank all of my Patreon supporters, without whose continuing support, as you'll see shortly, this channel simply wouldn't be what it is. I want to say as well that I'm just sharing these numbers for general interest. I'm neither bragging nor asking you to feel sorry for me. It's just that in the maker space that I occupy, I'm not aware of anyone publishing actual earnings for a medium, small, 50,000 subscriber channel like mine. Uh, one of the things that came out from my Patreon video on this subject was that very few consumers of YouTube content, YouTube videos, have any real idea of actual earnings. So when I visited the Essex Makers Official meetup recently, I asked members there how much they thought a YouTuber made from 10,000 views on a video. I don't know, to be honest. Well, guess. £200 for a game. Okay. Well, guess. Say so probably 100 Okay. 10,000 views. Um, pennies. pennies. Um, Five, ten quid. Ten quid? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'd say between a grand to two grand. Two grand for yeah. ten thousand views. I reckon it's about a tenner. Yeah. I don't think it's a lot. Ten thousand views. Yes. Ooh. Hundred, hundred pounds. Ten thousand? Ten thousand views. I'm, I'd say it's very similar. Maybe a hundred pounds. Like Fifty quid? Sorry about that. Ten thousand views. I reckon you're only looking at maybe ten pounds, something like that. Ten thousand views. I would have thought probably a hundred quid, something like that. So some fairly wild guesses there. A thousand pounds, thirteen hundred dollars would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, and a couple of fairly low ones too. But overall, when you average them all out, the general consensus seemed to settle for around about a hundred pounds, a hundred and thirty dollar sort of mark. That seemed fairly typical. In truth, YouTube earnings vary dramatically depending on many factors, uh, geography, where you are in the world, uh, gender, uh, genre, what type of video it is, uh, and the time of year uh, all play their part. But as a very rough guide, very generally, 10,000 views typically earns around about $20 or £15. 15? Pounds. 15? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 15 pounds? Yeah, it's... You need, I know you need a hell of a lot of views. For 10,000, it's Pressing, only 15 it? quid. Impressive. <laughs> wow. A lot of work for 15 quid, for sure. So let's get into those earnings and pick up the Patreon video. Uh, for context, 2019 was my third year of posting weekly videos on YouTube. I posted 102 public facing videos. Uh, I grew my subscriber base from 30,000 to 50,000 subscribers and I had 3.1 million views on my channel. So certainly not a huge channel, but one that's certainly growing. I'm going to split my earnings into five categories, basically five wheels on this wagon. We've got YouTube income, basically Google AdSense, we've got my Patreon supporters, lovely, lovely Patreon supporters. Uh, we've got affiliate income, so referrals, Amazon and eBay. We've got merchandise for me, that's Teespring and Etsy. And we've got video on demand, paid downloadable content that I've used the Vimeo platform for. The three main legs on the stool are AdSense, Patreon and affiliate income. And the last two, merchandise and video on demand, are sort of experimental and I've only kind of played with those. So if we break down the revenue split between those five categories, you can see that sales of merchandise you could pretty much write off as it's almost a total waste of time. It's in the chart at 1% because I've rounded the figures up to, to make them look neater, to be honest. Uh, I put the Teespring store together around about the time of Maker Central, and I've only just put the Etsy store online, partly to, to use up some of the stock that I, had, that I had left over from Maker Central. And together they've generated a total of £181. As I say, almost a total waste of time, except Teespring doesn't actually cost me anything. In fact, I'm not involved in it at all once it's set up. Or, uh, and I have other plans for the Etsy store, so starting it now was as much to gain experience of the process of running an Etsy. So I'm just going to keep those ticking along in the background. No, no need uh, to get rid of them. Uh, next up is video on demand. Again, this was a bit of an experiment just to dip a toe in the water of paid downloadable content. Uh, it was surprisingly successful, actually. I didn't think it would do that well. 
uh, and I use the Vimeo On Demand platform as it seemed to be the most straightforward sort of turnkey way of making this work. It has absolutely worked, but Vimeo is not without its issues, uh, not least of which being that you need to be a Vimeo member in order to get to the content, which creates a certain amount of friction, some resistance to signing up. Plus, it's quite an expensive thing to set up. You have to be a Vimeo Pro member in order to be eligible to use the on-demand platform. And all told, it runs to a couple of hundred quid a year, just over. And I think that if I'm going to do any more of this kind of thing, I'd probably find some other way. That 2% figure, again rounded up, translates to a total contribution of £277 to the channel. Uh, next, we have a big jump up to affiliate income. Now, this is typically from Amazon, though there is a little bit of eBay in there as well. And they accounted for 18% of the channel income. These are referral fees, you know, the kind of thing you follow one of my links in the video description and make a purchase, and I get a small commission for the introduction. That 18% translates to a little over £2,600 for the year. And it's interesting to see that that's on £37,000 worth of goods. That's quite a lot of goods sold, which is a commission rate of around about 7%, which is actually not bad at all, I, I suspect. I don't know, but I suspect there are some retailers who are working on margins that are tighter than that. Uh, then we get to another big jump up in income. Uh, YouTube AdSense, Google AdSense, those pre-roll ads that are unfortunately widely skipped due to the annoyance and or irrelevance, uh, and which does have an impact on our earnings. If you saw Friday's video, you'll know that I had over 3 million views this year, and that translates to an income of £5,385. So in total, excluding Patreon, that's a total of about £8,500. That's, that's nice to have, but it doesn't really set the world alight if you're making the kind of videos that I make. Uh, if this was a channel where I sat in front of a webcam on a Saturday morning for an hour or two making, say, unboxing videos of toys, when sure, that would be a nice thing to have. But if somebody came to me and asked me to make them a video about making an IKEA Beckham step stool out of hardwood, and then they said they'd pay me £83 for doing it. Well, they get pretty short shrift. In fact, if that was all my YouTube activity was generating, I simply wouldn't be doing it, or maybe I'd be doing unboxing videos instead. And so to Patreon. My Patreon supporters are at 41% generating more income for the channel than YouTube AdSense does, and in the last year have supported the channel to the tune of 5900 and £86, bringing the total channel income over the year to just shy of £14,500, a little under $19,000. So when I say at the end of every video that you guys are really helping me keep the lights on here, you really genuinely are. Now, Patreon support has grown spectacularly this year, more than doubled, in fact, and perhaps that's down to me producing regular weekly content. Uh, and I do hope the weekly content encourages you to continue to support the channel, as I'm certainly not done here yet. Uh, make no mistake, £14,500 is a good chunk of money. If someone stopped you in the street and said, would you like £14,500? You'd say, yes, absolutely. And if I was an 18-year-old living at home making videos out of my bedroom, I'd be delighted to be earning that kind of money. But for someone with a young family and a mortgage living in London in the 21st century, that's just not going to fly. However, that's also not me. I don't have a young family and I don't have a mortgage. My wife retired this year, so we are living sort of modestly. I do have a workshop, though, which uh, does require the rent to be paid, so I'm not going to be going 100% full-time on YouTube without some additional income. Now, whether that income comes from me getting some more Patreon support or getting more views on YouTube uh, from my videos or, or maybe from making just one set of painted shelves a month for people or maybe just one birch pine wingy side table per month. I, I don't really know and I don't really mind, to be honest. Uh, maybe it could be all of the above, but that's the general direction that I'm heading in for this coming year. Very little of the fitted furniture type work because I'm just, I'm done with that really. Uh, uh, more smaller natural timber and plywood projects and the focus being very much on YouTube and on content creation. 
And that's about it for this video, I think. I do hope that you found it useful, and I do hope that you found it interesting. As I said at the start of the video, I'm neither bragging nor asking for sympathy. I'm just sharing these numbers purely for the general interest, as I'm not aware of anybody in the maker space, the maker video genre, having done this before, and certainly not from a British maker. And if you're a smaller YouTuber, a British maker, somebody perhaps who isn't monetizing yet, but who may be thinking that monetization will be the answer to all your prayers, well, hopefully this video will have given you a little tickle of reality direct from the coalface. And once again, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for their support over the last couple of years that I've been monetizing the channel, and I do hope that the additional weekly content that I post to the Patreon channel continues to be of sufficient interest to earn your continued support. Amongst other things, I do a weekly Week in the Workshop vlog, and if that sounds like your kind of thing, then you can join the Patreon party at patreon.com forward slash 10 minute workshop. There are clicky links down to my Patreon channel uh, and to all the videos referred to in this video uh, down in the video description bo box below. Now uh, that's it for this week though. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more weekly workshop videos uh, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.